could certainly do at the wall with me now is John Charters Reed from the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveys. Thanks very much for joining us. That's the thing about, isn't it? You get a bubble, it can burst. It's a fragile state. It certainly can, but buyers are back in force now uh, because of better finance. And we look at the wall we've got here now, the difference between Doncaster, up an average of 0.3%, to Sheffield, 3%. Why is there that big difference in such a short space in miles? I think it's a case of people are gravitating towards cheaper properties, and don't forget a lot of properties have, have gone up in price over seven years. So what, but why Sheffield is up that, by that much? I think it's because the local economies are growing at, at faster, at perhaps faster rates than they are in than they are in Doncaster. We, we talk about green shoots and we talk about the perception. You know, the economy is growing if you look at each fig, uh, figures for each quarter. And Wakefield, I know you've told me just now, is is a real hotspot because things are happening in Wakefield that people are attracted to that town. Yeah, people attracted to Wakefield because the local authority have, have spent billions of pounds on. Uh, the infrastructure and the town centre and the new station and so Wakefield's definitely one of the future hotspots and, it, and it's a growing area. There's some certainly uh, good priced properties in Wakefield. And as we saw in the piece there from Tina, we've got people who are able to get on the housing ladder now. A, a few years ago that would be impossible. Yeah, the, the help to buy schemes made a, a massive difference. The bank of mum and dad has also helped but finance is much is much easier and effectively the the banks have, have woken up to the need to reduce the percentages for deposits so what's the advice to people watching tonight who think mm, should I go into the market is there, is there really still a problem here are we going to face problems in the future what would the advice be I think the advice is to to shop around buy right um, do your homework and make sure that you get a survey on the property that you're buying OK, John, we've got to leave it there. Thanks very much Thanks indeed very much, for John. joining us this evening. Christine, it's back to you. Of course, you can get involved in the debate about the housing prices on our website or even on our Facebook page.